All right, it's a dark day here at my bring back. I've made the decision to visit deathclock.org and find out when I'm gonna die. Fittingly enough, I'm gonna make it right to 69 years before I kick the bucket. But all of us are gonna go in eventually, and that's what we would call the mortal condition. Today we're gonna spend a little bit more time on conditions. We're gonna look at conditional loops. So if you're ready, let's take a peek. Okay, at the time this video was shot, I'm 26 years old, and we know from death-clock.com that I'm going to die when I'm 69. You can go ahead and plug your own figures in if you like. We're going to use them to look at a conditional while loop here. So we have a condition, which is while my age is less than death, and you'll note up top here we've made those variables, my age equal to 26, death equal to 69. We're going to do three lines of code here. All of them are just simple print statements. We're gonna print when I am, we're gonna print my age, and we're gonna print I will still love mybringback.com. Now, we've got some stuff down here, but when I am, and then my age, and I will die, but let's go ahead and just mash F5 and run this thing, see what happens. You'll see here that over in my terminal, I'm not sure this will animate in the video, but it's stuttering pretty hard on my screen. It is slamming output out that says again and again, when I am 26, I will still love my bringback.com. And while that's true, it's not doing a whole lot for us, and my computer's stuck in it. It is looping infinitely. We talked earlier briefly about mortal conditions. I failed to meet the one for this loop. And let's take a look at why. I'm going to go ahead and hit Control C to stop it. You'll note that we get some error message and that keyboard interrupt is the final line there. That's what you're going to get when you have to mash control C to stop a program that's running and, and is not otherwise going to stop. So while my age is less than death, it prints those lines. That's all working just fine. But we'll notice that my age and death never change. And since my age starts at 26 and death starts at 69, my age will always be less than death. And unfortunately for everybody, that's not how it works in real life. So let's go ahead and add one more line here. Let's go my age plus equal one. So we're gonna add a year every single time we go through the loop. Save it, run it, see what happens now. No, oh, how about that? Look at, if we scroll back to the top of the output, we choose a ways up, I got a ways to go. When I'm 26, I will still love my bringback.com. When I'm 27, I will still love my bringback.com. When I'm 28 and so on and so forth until, but when I am 69, I will die. So. What happened? Every time we went through the loop and checked at the beginning, is my age less than death? If the answer to that is yes, if that evaluates to true, if my age less than death evaluates the true, it'll do the commands in order here. And that'll happen <clears throat> until my age uh, you know, hits 69. So when my age is equal to death, my age less than death evaluates as false and it exits the loop. And so then it goes down to the next line of code to evaluate, which is what, but when I'm you know, 69 in this case, I will die. And we can see that's exactly how it worked over here. So that is a very brief look at how a conditional loop operates. We're going to spend some more time in upcoming videos on conditionals. It's going to be a test of your ability to apply a logic, which is just nothing but good times, man. Don't worry. But that is just a brief peek for you. So again, this is Ed from my Bring Back. Appreciate you spending some time on these videos. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Keep coming back. I'm not the only guy making things here, and I'm by no means one of the better ones. So pay attention to the stuff that my Bring Back puts out. Most of it's real good.